hello coders welcome back to tutor and i am your tutor tk and today we are going to implement dark mode in tailwind css and as you can see here i have created a simple html project in which i have configured tailwind css to use and style my project and if you don't know how to configure tailwind css in your html project then i have already created a video on that you can watch the video from the link in description or if you are working on any other project like react or Next.js, then you can configure Tailwind CSS and we can implement dark mode in that too. For now, we are going to configure and use dark mode in simple HTML project with Tailwind CSS. So let's start. And so here I have created an HTML page index.html in which I have written some Tailwind CSS code. And this is the card which I have taken from the Tailwind CSS examples. You can also find it there yourself. and on the top I have created a navigation bar with header and with the background of the gray 800 and in which I have created a navigation menu and inside that I have created two divs in which the first one is for my brand and the second one is for the button from which we are going to be toggling the dark mode for button I have taken an SVG you can use anything for the button and in my case I am going to use this SVG and for this button division, I have given the class of cursor pointer to make it clickable. And if I remove it, then you can see the button is not going to work. And once I put it back, this division is going to be clickable. So I can click on that and the click event is going to be registered and some actions are going to be taken after that to toggle the dark mode inside our project. So now let's move to the next thing that is our tailwind config.js and as you can see here the configuration is very very minimal which I have already shown in that video and after that we have to see this input style.css from which we are importing the tailwind components and after that we are building the output style.css with the watch command which we have configured inside our package.json to build our CSS from Tailwind CSS. So as everything is clear now, let's move to our main topic that is that is how to configure dark mode inside Tailwind CSS. First of all, we have to create a button which has to be clickable so that we can toggle dark mode with that. So I have already created a button with the SVG inside that and it is already clickable. So now the first job is done and, and here you can see a card which I have already pasted from the Tailwind CSS examples. Inside the Tailwind config.js, we have to write dark mode and make sure that the naming convention is camel case. And after that, you have to give the class. So if I take you to the Tailwind's official documentation to configure dark mode in Tailwind CSS, then you can see here. To use Tailwind CSS, we have to give the class's name with a prefix of dark and inside the tailwind.config.js you can see the dark mode is set to the class and with this we are telling Tailwind CSS that we are going to use Tailwind CSS classes and whenever the class dark mode is present inside the HTML project, we are going to use the dark mode. And now we have to set up our toggle button to toggle dark mode and set it to light mode whenever we don't need the dark mode. And for that we are going to write a script here. You can write it anywhere inside a javascript file or inside this, inside this main html page. For now I am going to write inside this html page and inside the script if you go to the documentation again. You can see here to toggle dark mode inside our Tailwind CSS project, we have to add and remove dark class to our main element of the HTML page that is the HTML itself. For that, we have to fetch it like this document dot document element and the class list. And we are adding and removing after that. And to save the dark mode condition or the theme condition inside our project, we are using local storage. And we are setting the theme is equal to light whenever we don't need the dark mode and we are setting it to the dark whenever we need the dark mode and after we set the dark 
it is going to stay dark until we change it back to the light so let's write our first condition that is to check if our project is set to the dark mode or not and if it is set to the dark mode we are going to assign this dark mode class inside our main html element so from here you can see this script is checking from the device so if your device is configured to the dark mode already then this script is going to set the dark mode inside your Telvin project but for now we are going to do it manually if user sets it manually then only it is going to be dark mode it is not going to check for the device theme condition so let's copy this script from here and paste it here but guys we want to run this script every time the page reloads and whenever we click on this toggle button check if our project is changed to the dark mode every time i click on this button or toggle dark mode now let's put this code inside a function that is going to be function check underscore theme and we're going to paste that code inside this function and for now we are not going to check for the device theme so we are going to check only if dark mode is present inside the local storage and remove the code after that so for now we are checking that if the local storage have the dark mode then we are setting our html element to the dark mode after this function is run our main html tag is going to be assigned as a class dark and now if you go to the official documentation then you can see how we can write a dark mode class inside our Telvin CSS project and you can see before any class or any utility class we are going to assign this dark and colon so this code is going to work after the dark mode is enabled inside our project so let's write as i have already assigned dark mode inside our project so let's change the color of body for now class and as you can see here the white is the default background of the body and after the dark mode is enabled we are going to change it to blue and 500 and it is not going to work as we haven't run our script to build css from telvin css and as you can see here i have configured this as the watch css in your case you can see a script like this or if you haven't configured then you can run this script to build an output css from the telling css and for now i'm going to run this and to run this script i'm going to write npm run watch css and this is going to watch for Telvin CSS and build our output.css and as you can see here is the dark mode is already configured and the background is changed to the blue so let's change it back to the normal or anything else like gray 500 so guys if I am going to remove the class dark from the HTML tag then you can see the the page turns back to the normal because dark mode is no more in the theme so to set the dark mode manually with the button we have to configure this button to run a function which is going to set the theme to the dark mode and because the dark mode is not set to the theme already and if i'm going to set this manually and to set dark mode to the local storage theme we are going to write another script or go to the documentation and see that to set the theme to dark mode we have to write a script like this and for now let's set the local storage the theme to dark mode manually and we are going to paste this inside this function because every time we reload our page this function is going to run for now we have to write this like check theme and now it is going to run every time we reload our project so now let's paste that code here and and as you can see here the theme is set to the dark and if i change it to light 
so guys as you can see here we are currently doing it manually but we want to set it programmatically with the toggle button so now let's write the toggle button script here so we are going to write a function toggle dark mode and now let's check the condition if theme is already set to the dark mode or not so let's check if local storage dot theme is equal to equal to dark then we are going to set the local storage dot theme to light and if it's set to the light we are going to set it to dark And now um, we have to run this function with our button. And inside our button div, we are going to write on click because we have already created this button as a clickable element with this cursor pointer. So now let's write the function name here. Sorry. And now this button is going to run this function every time I click on this button and after the theme is set to the dark mode or light mode sorry light mode we are going to check for this function again to check if our theme is set to the dark or not and to do that we have to write check theme and now every time I click on this button this is going to run this function and this function is going to set theme to the dark or light mode and after that it is going to run this function which is going to check for the theme and set our html tag through that theme so guys for any reason this function is not working so let's check what is happening there oh my god the function keyword so now it is supposed to work this is still not working so as we have already set our theme to light mode inside this function so we have to remove it for this button to be able to work so let's remove this code here and now if i click the button you can see the code is working and and our theme is changing to the dark mode and light mode with this toggle button and as you can see here the body changed to the gray color and we are not going to set it to gray we are going to set it to like steel or anything else and now you can configure the colors and styles inside your project as you like and for now we are going to set it like if the dark mode is enabled change the background to this slate 500 and inside the card we are going to write if the dark mode is enabled change the background to slate 300 and we are going to change this text color to white whenever we enable the dark mode so we can do it from either from body tag like whenever the dark mode is enabled change the text color to gray 100 Whenever it is dark mode, we are going to change the text color to green 400 or green 800. And as the color of this paragraph is set from the card component itself, we have to change it from there. So here you can see inside this paragraph and we have to write a condition for the dark mode too. So if the dark mode is enabled, we have to set the text to white and as you can see the contrast is not yet working so we are going to change the background of this card in the dark mode and we are going to set it to dark background slate 
800 and guys as you can see here the card color is changed in the background and the text color is changed to white and whenever i toggle this button you can see here the everything goes to white and the text color comes to black and you can see the cool effect here and guys in this way you can do anything inside your tailwind css project with the dark mode function of the tailwind css so guys thank you for watching this video i hope you like this video and if you do so like this video subscribe this channel and stay healthy keep coding and keep watching tutorial end.